Next, we have to learn extraction of metals at the top of activity series at the top of activity series you know that uh, metals at the top of activity series are highly reactive in nature and they readily react with oxygen they readily react with oxygen they show very high affinity towards oxygen than any other elements in the nature so if we have oxide of the metals it is very difficult to reduce them it is very difficult to reduce them by using carbon pure carbon what we call it as coke say for example i am having na2o sodium is having high affinity for oxygen with this if you put coke to react sodium will never react with coke because our affinity of sodium for oxygen is very high sodium reacts with high reactivity with oxygen comparing to coke therefore even after hours or number of days the mixture will remain as it is it will not at all change okay so the metals which are at the top of activity series like sodium magnesium calcium and aluminum etc cannot be extracted by reducing their oxides by reacting them with carbon in this way it's not at all possible so a process called as electrolysis process is used in this process what is done is the chlorides of the metals you forget this now because it is not possible you take nacl you heat it such that it becomes nacl liquid see converting solid nacl into liquid nacl is not that easy so what type of aggregate of metal and non metal it is it is aggregate of metal and non metal in which electrostatic forces that is the force of attraction between positive and negative charges is existing so because of that such salts will be having very high boiling point and melting point very high melting point and boiling point but by supplying lot of heat energy you can definitely melt them it is possible to melt only thing is that we have to supply lot of heat energy so when you get such a 
लिक्विड एन ए सी एल देन पास द करेंट थ्रू इट दिस इज लिक्विड एन ए सी एल यू हैव हियर टू इलेक्ट्रोड्स connect them to battery let the current to flow see in the molten state as we have already discussed electrostatic force of attraction will have overcome they will have been na and cl will have been separated we will be having na plus and cl minus in the molten state you will be having ions in ionic compounds you have studied that now this is plus and this is minus na will go towards cathode and get deposited there and cl will go to anode and there chlorine gas will be formed and there the chlorine gas will be formed so what happens at anode and cathode we will see at cathode na plus goes here and this is negatively charged electrode from there it will take one electron electrode will give it one electron and it will become na two chlorine atoms can say two chlorine ions actually cl minus plus cl minus this is where this is at anode will go to anode there they will give two electrons to the anode they will give two electrons and cl and cl will combine to become cl2 cl2 and both together these two together are giving what two electrons to the anode so these two electrons are taken by anode and the chlorine gas formed here will escape here will escape so on this electrode what you are having now on this electrode which is cathode you will be having sodium metal deposited so this sodium metal becomes like this it looks like this on the electrode okay after prescribed number of hours maybe 2 hour 3 hours when the reaction is complete you have to disconnect electrode from the supply take the electrode outside like this and here you are having what now sodium metal using blade or knife or a scrubber you have to get this sodium into the container now this will be sodium here this is cathode okay so this way highly reactive sodium manganese calcium and aluminum are extracted only in this uh, tub the substance will go on changing in the molten state 
right? Now you write here. I explained everything, just to write the notes now. The metal such as sodium magnesium calcium and aluminium which are high up in the reactivity series which are high up in the reactivity series show very high affinity for oxygen Because of this, it is not possible obtain these metals by reducing their oxide ores using carbon as a reducing agent. To extract these metals, a process called electrolysis is used. In this process, current is passed through chloride ore. the metal gets deposited at the cathode whereas Chlorine is liberated at the anode. the reactions
that cathode and anode in extracting sodium from sodium chloride are as follows yesterday i have explained these reactions today you have to just copy down at cathode na plus plus e minus we get sodium metal at anode to cl minus chlorine gas plus 2e minus plus 2e minus <laughs> 